My name is Anne Plamondon, and while well, I was raised partly in Quebec City, in Montreal, in Toronto, at many different places, because dance is my life, so you have to be everywhere. My training was mainly classical. Yeah, I really thought that I would be a ballerina. And I was for a little bit. <laughs> so I met Victor in 2000. He was a, a dancer at Les Grands at the time. He, he had this idea of bringing hip hop and ballet together and those two extremes which don't really seem to fit together that it could become this very refined and organic and, and fluid uh, marriage, in a way. I always was a dancer. What I wanted to do was dance. Choreography was not necessarily something, but I did a first solo, Les Mêmes Yves Toi, the same eyes as, as yours, not because I wanted to choreograph, but because there was this story that I wanted to tell as a dancer and nobody could really tell that story other than myself because it, it had to be, it was about my father, my father's mental illness, so I figured I have to make it. The piece uh, premiered at Agora de la Danse in Montreal in 2012. For me, it was, some, uh, it was a personal story that I was sharing through dance. But when I got in front of an audience, uh, people would come up to me after and say, this is my brother, this is, this is my sister, this is my uncle, this is my grandfather, this is, this is me. And I knew that story by heart. It was very uh, deeply imprinted in my memories, in my body memories. And I thought that I should utilize that to express through dance, through movement, the different states the very deep imprints of what I had witnessed as a child through my father's schizophrenia. Everything that my father, his mimics, his, his um, physicalities, his tics, his, uh, the words that he would say, his behaviors. As I get ready to do the piece again, the biggest thing that has changed is I translated it into English because there is text in the piece. There's recorded text and there's also live speaking text. And then of course, uh, in between the premiere and now, uh, I, had a, uh, I had a child, I had a daughter. So my body has also evolved and changed. Not necessarily in the negative way, it's just different. If I haven't done it in a year, it's like putting on an old jacket. I remember that jacket, but the jacket is the same jacket, but I'm not the same person. And each time, each time I perform it again, I have to remember the audience is going to see this for the first time. I have to make it. It's here now. <laughs> 